Hey guys, it's Whitney. Um, today I wanted to come and do a video that I have been contemplating on doing for a little bit over a year now. And the reason I've been contemplating on doing it is because, of course, we live in a society where we can't show emotion, we can't hurt, everyone has to be happy 24-7, and if you show any signs of, of emotion or sadness, then you are looked at as weak. <laughs> Um, which is really sad. Um, you know, the society, it's like everybody just posts their happiest moments in life and everybody just posts their happy, amazing things that they have achieved and their great moments, but they never showcase the bad. So everybody looks at people and thinks that their lives are perfect and oh my gosh, I want my life to be like hers, when in reality, deep down, she's battling something deeper than what is seen. I definitely uh, am a girl that sh totally didn't want to do this video. I didn't want the world to see me um, as me. But I've decided that I'm no longer going to be held hostage under a mask uh, for what society wants me to be seen as. I just want to be real and be completely honest with everyone. Um, and I believe that God puts you through things. And I feel like it would be selfish for me to keep what I did to get through it to myself when there's probably other people in the world that are going through the same thing as me. So for me, my the thing that I was dealing with was a mild case of depression um, due to what started it was a breakup. Yeah, um, I dated someone for five years and that was my best friend. Um, we, we were friends from like freshman year of high school and then we dated once we graduated high school, uh, literally like the day after we graduated, uh, we made it official and then uh, we were together for five years after that. So literally I was with someone that um, I grew up with, you know, he knew, he, I, he knows everything about me, I know everything about him. Um, we, we built something major. Um, so for me, my relationship, it was a huge it was a huge um, punch in the stomach with, with what happened between us. Um, it wasn't just a breakup, it was a literally like, almost, it wasn't like, a, I'm done with you, it was like, it ended really bad. Um, so th that last conversation we had, that was the last time I talked to him. And um, so I was here, you know, lost and confused, number one, and I never got an apology. <laughs> um, and so it really affected me. I, I I never, I wasn't even used to being alone. Like we were together for so many years and to suddenly not be able to talk to someone that you talk to every day for five years was like, almost like losing a family member almost. Um, if you guys know what it feels like, <laughs> it kind of feels like that. So I had to learn to be by myself. I had to learn to do everything by myself. I had to learn to go shopping by myself. I had to learn to get through struggles by myself, get through school by myself. I had to learn how to just go up to the store by myself because we would do everything together so for me it was just a total new lifestyle and it was so hard for me I'm not even gonna lie like y'all don't even know that I went through this isn't that crazy like you guys can go through my videos like you wouldn't even know but um, that's you know that that's where that mask comes in so yeah like I had to get through that all by myself and um, I never really had like tons of friends. I was really to myself a lot. Um, I had a few friends that were there for me and, and you know my family but at the same time I didn't want to bombard them with my feelings or hurt or you know so I it led for me, it led me to kind of be a, a little bit mild depressed because I was keeping a lot of stuff inside so there were days when I would just like lay in my bed all day like you know I would rather be asleep than awake. There were times when I, you know, I had to take sleeping pills because I couldn't sleep at night. Um, there were times when I just didn't want to do shit. Um, I did hair, but I didn't even want to get up to do that. Like, I was so, oh God, if we go back to a year from today, I was like, like so depressed, totally different than I am today. Um, but, um, I got through it. So I went through my depression. I stopped going to church. I stopped pray praying. Um, I stopped everything, girl. I'm telling you guys, I went through it. Okay, <laughs> y'all would have never known that. I, you know, and I slowed down on my YouTube. 
and thank God I you know I started going out doing things that I wouldn't do just to cover up and mask what I was going through um, drinking oh I drink I drink now y'all if you would have known me before I would I never drink um, I drink now um, so I went through a complete lifestyle change within a year um, so it took me a lot to get through it um, I, 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 there was a moment in time where I remember my mom, she came in my room and she was like, Whitney, what's wrong? And then I finally told her that I, I feel like I'm depressed. <laughs> she just started crying, you know, and I, I'll just never forget that day. She was like, can we go to the beach? Can we go to the beach? And that was the last time I actually been to the beach, which was in January. I think it was like January, February last year. Um, that was the last time I went to the beach, and that's why I remember it so vividly. Um, we went to the beach, and we just sat there. And I think I, during that, that day is when I decided that I was no longer going to become a victim to my circumstance. Um, I was just, like, I was just, oh my gosh, I was so consumed. It was like literally a dark cloud over me. Like, I was getting attitude with people. Um, like, I... I, I I was just, it was just a mess, you guys. So right then and there I decided, I was like, look, I'm not going to be um, a victim anymore. So I decided to do stuff for me. I started to live a little bit. I started to go out. I started to travel. Um, travel, like, I would travel by myself. Like, that's how exact, how done I was with, with being the victim. So I would travel to different states. I met a lot of people. I started dating. I started... Well, I don't even know what dating is. I started talking to people and, you know, going out with guys. Um, just be starting to live again and regain who I am. Because, um, you know, when you go through a breakup, you're just, like, completely, like, you know, I'm ugly, nobody likes me, you pick me over her. Because it wasn't, like, a breakup. I feel like, you know, it was, a, it was a case of a, oh, I'm picking another girl over you. So to be the girl that was with someone for so long and they just pick someone else that <laughs> she just came out of nowhere you know what I mean so that's what hurt me the most so that's why it was even harder girl y'all don't even know and then with my with my ex-boyfriend I had to see him everywhere like because he's a model so I would go to the stores and see pictures of him like I would be on the timeline and I would see pictures of him like it was just real bad so I had to do everything in my power to just stay strong through it all you know what I mean so I started listening to like gospel music on the way home from school and doing stuff and so I decided to go to cosmetology school. Going to cosmetology school was the best thing that I could have done for myself because I no longer was able to be at home and think about stuff all fucking day. Like I was able to go to school eight hours a day, meet people, we literally had conversations like they built me up so much like telling me that I'm beautiful, telling me that I'm a good person telling me how sweet of a, a person I was and to hear that you know it helped a lot because you don't think that you're this good person when someone that you gave everything to just leaves you so it was so hard for me but being in the school oh my gosh it helped me so much you guys like being around people and now that I'm graduated and stuff I realized that doing something for me for once was the best thing that I could have ever done um going to cosmetology school was like a blessing in disguise. It was hard work, but I was able to finally do something that I, I didn't let none of that shit stop me. You know what I mean? Like knowing that I finished it in 11 months, went every day, you know, like I have my license now, by the way, you guys, licensed cosmetologist now. <laughs> but um, yeah, so just realizing you finally were able to do something for yourself is like one of the best things that could have ever happened to me, you guys. Moral of the story, I am a girl that you can look at my Instagram, you won't tell that I'm sad. You can look at my Twitter, you won't tell that I'm sad. You can look at my Snapchat and you won't tell. Um, but even today, I still face moments where I have my moments where I'm like wondering what happened or I'm sad. Um, I have my days where I'm lonely. Like I've been dating, um, I've been trying to date, but ugh, I've been trying to date. <laughs> You guys know the struggle of dating in 2016. Oh my god, it's getting worse and worse. I like, my issue is I start liking someone, right? And then they say they like me too, and then suddenly it just, it just 
that's never consistent. So I end up being screwed and I, I'm really cool with it. So like I can get over people pretty quickly, but it's just so frustrating having to like, like someone and then it just never goes anywhere. I don't know if any of y'all deal with that, but I deal with it too. <laughs> okay. I deal with guys like you think they like you and then they're with someone else. So it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what to call it anymore. I'm almost throwing in the towel when it comes to dating, but I don't want to miss out on my blessings. So I'm still going to try to keep it going a little bit but dating is a struggle for me right now um because guys really i don't know they really ain't shit right now for real but um <laughs> so i've been trying to date you know lately but i have my moments y'all like i be i really 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 like that's why i don't really do my youtube no more because i just don't even have the energy sometimes to do stuff just because of what i've been you know dealing with but i am so happy that i am on another fence of it now I, I just want you guys to, to know <laughs> don't look at people's pages to see their life and be like oh my gosh their life is amazing because I guarantee you that they're going through the same exact thing that you're going through like I was I was called I was never called pretty I was never called you know now you know people say I am people you know they look at my hair and they love my hair but you know for me I want someone I don't have anyone in my life other than my family and a few friends that genuinely love me. You know what I mean? I don't, I, I'm a girl that wants to know what love feels like. I've never experienced love. Even in my past relationship, I wasn't love. So I've never experienced love. I've never experienced what it's like to be number someone's number one. So I yearn for that. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I still keep it pushing. Y'all know I'm a businesswoman. So <laughs> I don't play. Like I went to college. I got my cosmetology degree, cosmetology license, and I'm about to start my hair business, okay? So you can't let it stop you from doing you. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to become a victim to your circumstance. For me, I didn't allow myself. I allowed myself to be human for a little bit. Yes, I did. I was depressed, yes, and I'm still battling a little bit of it, but I'm totally better than I was before. But for me, I can't handle... For me, I realized that I had to release all toxic people from my life, literally. For me, it's like, okay, because of the situation that I went through, you show me one bad thing and, and it's a wrap. I don't care about like excuses anymore because I know how good of a person I am and I don't ever treat anyone wrong. Like I can stand here and say that I have never in my life, 20, I'm about 25, so I can say I have never in my life literally purposefully hurt anybody in my life, purposefully. Honestly, and if I did hurt someone, it was by mistake, and I apologized. Okay, so for someone to do me wrong, I, there's no excuse because I would live my whole life not doing it. So for me, you show me one thing, and it's a wrap. I've had I can't have any negativity in my life, so I feel like that was the one thing that helped me a lot. Like I had to literally delete all negative energy in my life. That was the number one key, honestly, because you are what you surround yourself around, and a lot of times we're blinded. But you have to open your eyes and not become, mm, be naive to the situation. Like, you really know what it is at the end of the day, okay? You know what it is. You are making the choice to deal with it or not. You know, if you're going to allow it, then that's on you. You can't blame that person. But you know if someone's a bad person or not. You know that they shouldn't be in your life. A lot of times, we're, we're human and we love so hard, we want to keep them around, but we really shouldn't. You know, we really shouldn't. And... I know it's hard, you guys. I'm a woman. Do you understand how many times I would go back? I went back to situations that I knew I shouldn't have been in. I know. I'm human. <laughs> but I'm here just to tell you guys, like, I don't want anyone to be hurt anymore because I know what it feels like to be hurt. I don't want you guys to hurt. And for me, like, when I hear my clients' stories about situations that they've been through and my friends' stories, and it just hurts me to know that they're hurting because I know what it felt like. I know what it felt like and I will never in my life that's why that's why I I have it's just not in my heart to hurt anyone you know and I just want everyone to be happy even me like I'm still not 100% happy I'm probably about 90 95% I got like a missing 5% you know <laughs> but I think that missing 5% could be heavy I gotta find him one day but 5%, you know, 95%, I'm pretty much happy, but I want everyone to be happy. You guys all deserve to be happy. And I know I have my moments where I'm just like, fuck, like life, god damn, you know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you, I have those moments too, I do too. But I want you guys to take what I went through and I don't want you guys to go through it. I don't want anyone to go through it. Um, there's moments when you're gonna feel alone. Yes, oh my gosh, that's the worst part. Like. 
having to deal with shit on your own. That was like the worst part for me. Like, I didn't know what to do. I don't even know how to date. I don't even know how to text people. Do you understand that I, when I'm trying to have conversations with guys, like, I don't even know what to say because I don't even know how to date. I'm so freaking, like, corny. Oh my gosh. But, you know, it's all a learning experience. I've gotten a lot better now. But when I first started, I was like, okay, so I was trying to tell my friends, I was like, so how should I respond? Like, I don't even know how to date. You know, like, this is so new to me. But at the end of the day, like, even though I'm not really dealing with, like, guys that are really serious with me, like, I do still believe in love. I still have faith in love. I still believe that it is for me. One day it's going to be for me. I'm not rushing into anything. I'm not going to rush into a relationship when I know I'm not ready. Um, I low-key I'm ready now, but before I wasn't ready. So a lot of times people get out of relationships and hop right in. That is the worst thing you can ever do because you're not over that person that you were with. Um, you're using that other person as a source to help you get over. When in reality, you got to take these moments alone to get yourself better. I mean, honestly, at the age of 25 is the first time I found love for myself. I never realized what love was. I, I never loved myself. I remember I was talking to a guy, like, literally right after me and um, my ex broke up, and it was probably like a month later, and he asked me, he was like, he was like, you know what your worth is, right? And I was like, no, I'm literally, this is what I told him. I told him, how much do you think, he said, how much do you think you're worth? I said, I understand, I'll never forget this, I said this. I said zero. <laughs> I literally felt like I was worth zero. <laughs> and if you ask me today, I'm people. Would, some people call me cocky because I'm so confident in myself. Um, and it's not even has nothing to do with looks. It has to do with my worth. Like I know that I'm worth so much. Like I know that I'm like the best, the nice person in life. Like I know that my heart is so full of gold. I know that um, career-wise, I'm lit. Like. I went to college, I have an education, I have no kids, I'm smart, da da da. Like overall I know that I'm worth so much. So so sometimes guys like think that it's cocky when it's really not, and I don't care. <laughs> if you can't handle it, then you work for me, you know what I mean? So I just want you guys to know your worth. That's what it's all about. You gotta recognize your worth. You're worth so much. You're worth so much and we deal with this bullshit from guys. I'm telling you, we deal with it so much. We deal with it, and they don't even realize what they do. They don't even realize what they do. They don't realize it, so you can't even blame them. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even going to blame them because they don't realize it. You know, but we've gone through a lot, and even me, like, I don't even know. I really, really hope one day that I can trust people. I don't trust people. That's why I don't have a lot of girlfriends. I don't have a lot of guy friends because I've been hurt by a lot of people in my life. So, I, you know, I, every day I pray to God, you know, that I could regain trust for people. If you know that you are a good person, and that's what I know, I know that I'm a good person, I know that I'm a kind person, very kind-hearted, always willing to give, sweet, loving, never hurt anybody, promise you. <laughs> I know what my worth is, then if you can't handle it, then that's on you. Go ahead, bye. That's just the way it is, that's just the way it is. And I want everyone to get to the point where they're at this stage, because like, yeah, I'm gonna hurt, yeah. I have my moments when I hurt, but I know my worth, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hurt a little bit, but at the end of the day, if that's what you want, then go. If you don't want a, someone like me in your life, I don't know what you want. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of mentality you have to have, because if you don't have that mentality, you're gonna become a victim, you're gonna think something's wrong with you, you're gonna think that you're the issue, when in reality, you're not, okay? You're not. So, I just wanted to come here and just kind of be honest with you guys about where I am in life. Um, right now, I am a career businesswoman, living my life is beautiful, career-wise, um, relationship-wise, it's it's struggling for real, um, and it's cool. I'm just waiting for God to be real. To, I'm waiting for God to bring the one that's for me. Um, I'm struggling, like, I have my days when I'm dealing with depression a little bit, like, I have my days when I'm lonely, like, today I was a little bit, uh, like, a little bit, you know, everything wasn't perfect today, so I kind of, you know, I almost wanted to cry a little bit. I don't know why. You know, I just made a girl. But, yeah. So, I just want to let you guys know I'm human. Everybody else is human. All these people on social media that you see that are only, po you know, positive. I promise you they're going through the same thing. And I just, I just kind of want, I don't know. This is kind of a challenge for other people. Like, let's just start an honesty challenge. Can we be honest? Society's so fake. I want everyone to be on it. Let's just be real. Who cares? I've gotten to the point where I don't care. If they're offended by what you have to say, then they don't need to be in your life. Who cares? You, you get what I'm saying? So, 
I just needed to come and be honest with you guys. I have to be honest. I have to get this video out. I've been debating on doing this video for a year and finally I did it. So I hope that this helps you guys. You know, I just don't want you guys to think that where you're at right now is where you're going to be because here I am a year later. I'm so much better. I'm so much better. You guys have no idea. And um, I'm thankful for the situations that I've been through. Yes, they hurt. Yes, it was horrible. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. But if I never went through those situations, I would have never loved myself like I do today. Do you get what I'm saying? So I want you guys to just stay strong through whatever situation you're going through and know that it is going to take some time to get through. Don't like compare yourself to other people like, dang, she got over it quick. Dang, she got over it quick. No. It took me a year and a half. Give it some time. Time is your best healer. Time is your best healer. Time is the best thing that's going to heal whatever you're going through. I promise you. So, I hope this video helps you guys. I hope I'm not talking too much, but I just feel like I just need to vent to you guys and just be real and be honest with you guys. So, um, if you guys have any questions, let's chat. Let's, what did you, let me know what y'all what did to get through certain situations you went through. Leave some enlightening words to people that are going through stuff below. Um, if you guys, like I said, if you guys need anyone to talk to, email me, you guys. Email me. I love talking to you guys. I promise you. If you're going through struggles, hit me up because I know that God put me through stuff to help people get through it as well. Um, and like I said, it's all about knowing your worth. You're a queen. You're beautiful. You are a queen and you deserve to be treated that way, okay? I love you guys. Have a blessed day.